Hello everyone, what is up? It is me, the Yellow Penguin, and welcome back to the computer to the Pencil Broken Fan, also known as my old HP laptop. So today, um, we're just doing interesting. Now on this flash drive, I have some mysterious file on it, and in this video, we're going to be installing it on the HP, and you're probably going to be wondering, well, why, how are you going to do this? Is, isn't it going to overheat? Is the fan broken? Yes, however, I have a temporary awful solution. I have a fan over there, which I keep, like I'm not going to show this anyway, I'm showing the setup. But over there, I have, a can I have a fan pointed to the computer, and it's also plugged into a cooling pad, which will be cooled down, which won't prevent overheating. And that is the reason why I'm not using this computer still, because this is my actual personal laptop, my MacBooks stand, and uh, I don't want to not have a stand on my laptop. But for now, let's see what's on here, because I reinstalled Windows after the video, which was about a couple months ago, and um, I accidentally ran a file, and I have not booted up the computer since, I have no idea what's on it. I don't know what I did, I just told it. So, let's see. I didn't know anything important on this computer. Why did I hear an error sound? Oh, okay, that's not very good. Uh, money's not available. Okay. So, everything's gone. It's kind of hard to show the top area, but the. Oh, you know what I could do? Let's just, like quickly change. Oh, apparently, the cursor is back to standard. Let's try to make... No, no, I can't do that either. Okay. Well, the wallpaper is blank. Can we... Open... Let's open some apps. Photos. No. Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. That helped. Okay, that works. Let me use this. Basically, what I'm trying to show is that it looks like the Windows solution is corrupt. So there's probably no point in keeping it. I want to restore something a bit stock. Now, if you read the title, you know what I mean by stock. But, to those who don't, who didn't read it, or don't want to care, or don't care to read it, well, I'll show you what I mean. After it reboots. I'm gonna press escape and I kind of forgot with the HPs all the time. Okay. Let's do let's boot to this. My bit. What am I installing? Well, what does the pop up? Uh, you got some CMD windows flashing. This is definitely not oh this custom this is definitely not custom windows. So. It is HP Recovery Manager. Now it is a bit hard to see, so I can do that for a second. It's gonna go down, but and I'm sorry for the flickering, and I can't control it. But yeah, um, so we have two options: we can either file backup or factory reset, and we're gonna factory reset it. So welcome to the factory manager. We can erase or format the hard drive. Install drivers and software. Um, what the file looks like. And as you can see, it's getting started. So now we're doing a time off of this fun mess. We'll take quite a bit of time. So I hope you guys enjoy.
All right, so as you saw from last night's, or I guess now this video, it has finished. So let's go ahead and see what it does now. We're gonna have to dip that fan for a moment, but But yeah, it finished last night. So, but yeah, it, last night it finished around midnight. Hi there, I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. A little sign in here. Your region is set to the United your keyboard is set to voice mode on. Alright, and so over here we have the license agreement of Windows and HP. So you not only got one, you got two whole things to read. Yeah, we read it all, we have read. Now this is where it wants you to use a Microsoft account, but I made a video on the bypass. So all you gotta do is just type DOM at Outlook. Or anything you can add like a at outlook.com, something generic like that. Here I'll enter the password. One, two, three. And then I'm not going to do that. So now we have a local account. So we'll do that and do a password. Not like passwords. That's the joke. Off, off. I would turn all these off basically. But yeah, this has installed an old, uh, right, let's see what it installed. I'm pretty sure it's, uh, what's it called? If I remember correctly, it looks like 21. I don't know, it's just 24. Okay. So that is what we are on right now, dot 488. When I got the computer back in 2019, or 2018 actually, December, it came with RS. Four. When our time was late, decided to update because the bug or whatever. I was like, it's patched. <laughs> so yeah, I use computer on different OSs, NU, uh, CU, and then I think RS4, RS5, 1903, 1909, 2004, 20H2, 21H1, and 21H2, and Windows 11, 2200. I have not done Insider. 
And you know I might, we'll see. We'll close that. It looks like okay, it's here. Oh god. Uh, welcome to your McAfee trial, I don't care. Thanks for my trial. I love trials. So we got a free 30 day protection. We'll do a quick scan. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week. I don't know, I'll see you next time. Bye!